Hello friends and welcome to another Star Wars video. This is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy and as no doubt you have just seen the trailer for Star Wars Episode 8 The Last Jedi. I have not. I spent my evening in a local burger joint, JCW's for those locals in Utah know the place. It's pretty good. I'm not saying it's the best burger. It's a pretty dang good burger. But I have not seen the video and my phone has blown up from all of my friends who know I'm a Star Wars fan who know that I do this YouTube channel and they ask for a reaction video and I am here to appease. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and press play and watch this video for the first time. Okay, so now that I've had some time to kind of break it down and to think about uh, what I just saw. Uh, and to refocus some of my lights, obviously not doing really a great job with the lights. But what I want to do is I want to go through and talk about really what we're seeing as far as this uh, this whole thing in in uh, the video. So the first thing that is very uh, very telling, right, is we get this from a point of view of Snoke. Snoke is the first one talking, and the first thing that he says is he when he noticed. When he noticed you. Now, I assume, because the first thing that we see is a picture of Kylo Ren standing in front of like a, a, a launch bay of some sort. Um, he's like, when I noticed you, I saw this power, unbridled power, right? And then that's juxtaposed later on in the video with uh, Ray talking about seeing the power, or Luke talking about seeing the power once before. He wasn't scared of it then. He is now. Now, Clearly, that's setting up a dynamic between um, between Ray and uh, and Kylo Ren. Like he, Luke wasn't scared of the power when he saw it in Kylo Ren, but now he's scared of the power when he sees it in Ray. So this makes me think that what we could be seeing is is what we've heard about is the um, the twin theory, right? And the twin theory is uh, a long, long time ago in a part of the galaxy probably pretty far away. Um, there were two twins that were born or two bro a brother and sister that were born and they grew up next to this tree and we see images of this tree. We see images of what we know to be the force tree and it's, uh, they grow up next to this tree, brother goes evil, sister gets redeemed somehow, brother kills the family and so on and so forth, right? And it's, it's said that these two are supposed to be reincarnated over and over again. Now, whether that's the case or not, we don't know. We do have some definite allusions to it. We've seen the tree on Octu. That's meant to be the tree that Luke took from the Jedi Temple or from the Palpatine's archives of the Jedi Temple that he was studying um, in the comic book Shattered Empire. That seems to be playing a, a pretty big focus in this. Um, or back to this whole Snoke intro. I don't know if Snoke's actually talking to to Kylo Ren. It looks like he could be this whole this whole concept could be him talking to Ray, like we see in that final scene. Fulfill your destiny, right? He or he could be talking to Kylo Ren in that scene, and obviously that's probably not the final scene in the story. But it could be. I mean, it could be one of the latter scenes. Um, now, this scene where Kylo Ren is walking into this... I mean, we have a lot of red and black in this, this whole trailer. If, if, if that's not a theme, dark and blood, I don't know. Um, but we have them coming into this. Now, um, this to me, if you look here on the sides... Those kind of look like the entryway to the tree where the, the Journal of the Wills is kept. Now, we saw the Journal of the Wills in the last trailer. It's that, you know, those books set in that bookcase looking thing. Um, ancient texts from the original Jedi or what was before the Jedi, right? Uh, I don't think we know anything from the new canon. We might, I don't know. I haven't read that far into it. Um, but it looks like this is a scene set on Act 2. Now, it could be set on one of the other planets that, you know, we've we've been talked, we've been told that they're going to visit. Uh, Canto Bright, or Blight, I think his name is. Um, one planet, I think Crate could be another planet that we could see. Um, it's one that's been mentioned. Uh, but I'm thinking this could be Act 2. Might be wrong on that, but definitely 
it's going to be interesting. Kylo Ren here is leading the the stormtroopers in. Um, then this next scene, I think, is part of the scene that is that made up of the final scene. What I think we're seeing here is images through spliced up. What I think we're seeing here is images of one scene spliced throughout the trailer. And, and I think we see that a couple of times. We definitely see the, the montage of Rey being trained by Luke, and then we definitely see the Kylo Ren talking to Snoke as he does in that final scene. Um, but here we see Kylo Ren reaching down to pick up his lightsaber. In the background, we see um, the two of the the feet of the Imperial Guards, or the, the First Order Guards that are supposed to guard Snoke. Um, but I think that this is, again, just juxtaposed against what we see at the very end. Snoke's talking, and then he's like, you know, fulfill your destiny. And the destiny is to strike Ray down, right? I think that's what we're seeing here. And, and whether it's in the beginning, whether it's in the end, we don't know. Um, probably that scene, if it takes place... I mean, there were a lot of scenes in Rogue One. There were a lot of scenes in Episode Seven that didn't actually make it to the the actual final film. So maybe, maybe we won't see some of these scenes. So keep that in mind. But if if it is what that final scene is going to look like is, or that specific scene is going to look like is, um, maybe a fight between Kylo Ren and Rey, and then finally a a connection where you know uh, he's like, dude killer and and i think kylo ren doesn't because let's continue so um here we see luke kind of we see Je uh, we see ray training um definitely on Oct two and you see some hesitance luke does not want to train ray at all this this scene here where where ray is walking past the tree that is what is left of the Force Tree that I had talked about earlier. It's from the the four part miniseries uh, Shattered Empire. It is one of two trees, one of two Force Trees. Here is the journal, the Journal of the Wills. Ray is going to see them now. Again, we see training. We see Ray kicking a little bit of butt, talking about what she then. Luke is training her and he sees power, power that he's seen before. And then we have this force back or, or whatever, uh, because apparently flashbacks don't happen in, in Star Wars universe. They totally happen in the Star Wars universe. Just because you call it a force back doesn't mean it's not a flashback. It's totally a flashback. Might be a force vision. It's a flashback. Um, but we see Luke coming out of the rubble. Um, that's obviously Luke's hand. There's R two D two Luke, and again, this looks to me kind of like it. It almost looks. It almost looks like a, a distant but close up version of the temple on Yavin four. I'm probably dead wrong on that. This this little building here that's clearly going to be luke's new jedi temple wherever it was that is luke's jedi temple you can see the despair just in him kneeling right um in the trailer for episode seven in the forced vision we saw this scene before but we saw it from a side view now we're seeing it from behind we're seeing the back of luke looking on to the trailer looking on to what he was looking at and this is clearly the destruction of his his temple, his his jet, his first order, his first Jedi temple. And so I'm curious to learn more about that because whatever happened shook him seriously. Now I'm really interested to see where Luke goes with this story because he looks deranged. He looks like a man who's lost everything, and and obviously he has. But this looks like it's shaken him a lot more than we've seen in the original or in the original canon. So, um, yeah, so moving on. Kylo Ren fighting against the past um, shatters his helmet. Um, symbolic gesture. This space battle here is clearly Kylo Ren 
fighting against his mother's ship, right? And we're we're told, or or visually, it makes it look like. I don't know though. I people aren't really running around. Is he going to pull the trigger? If Kylo Ren was fighting against the ship, the people here in the background, you'd think they'd be a little more animated, a little more excited. They're clearly not. So Leia is feeling something that, or General Organa is feeling something that that K- Kylo Ren is going through, but is not sure. Obviously, he's hesitating. He doesn't want to pull the trigger. Does he or does he not? Um, right? Maybe Kylo Ren's in this this space battle. Maybe we don't know. Um, we see Poe. This was cool. This was one of the, my favorite scenes in the in the trailer. Um, Finn fighting against Phasma, and looking like he's holding his own. Now, granted. Probably not. Hopefully Phasma's more of a the bad A that we saw in the book, Phasma, than we actually saw in episode seven. Luke saying, this is not gonna go the way you think it will. Now, to the audience, is that what he is he telling us that? Is he telling who is he talking to? This scene clearly takes place on on Octu. It is Luke talking to Ray. And, and could this be what Daisy Ridley said when she said that Ray finally meets her hero and sometimes it's not a good thing to meet your heroes, right? You don't say that about some someone if things are going well. I'm curious. I, I really want to I really want to see what happens to Luke here. Um, Luke was never my favorite character, but I, I liked him. I thought he was I thought he was well written. I thought he was good, but. Um, well, maybe not well written, but good. I like the character, um, and I like the character in the comics definitely. But I'm curious to know what's going to happen here. Is Luke gonna play like the deadbeat dad, where kid comes back after his period of time and is like, "Hey, you're my father. Train me, teach me, raise me, whatever. Love me." And Luke's like, "No, GTFO." Right. Um, we don't necessarily know, but he is clearly talking to someone. Now it look, I mean, he's wet here. He's drenched. Um, then in the, the next scene we see Le- uh, Ray coming out of the water standing with Luke standing, who's also clearly wet. This just looks like a continuation of that scene that we saw before. But this, this was the cool scene. Okay. Um, Snoke torturing Ray. Now, She's clearly standing on nothing. He's probably got her lifted up, which means force powers, right? Here on the far right, we have that red wall with the guardian, the, the you know, Snoke's personal guard um, sitting right there. So I think, again, this is part of that earlier scene where Kylo Ren bends down to pick up the lightsaber and, and you know, Snoke is there. And that's who he is talking to in this moment. Now, again, it could be he was talking to Ray when he first saw Ray. You know, he saw so much more. Maybe the potential of Kylo and Ray teaming up and working together, you know, before Ray went all noble and goes to the good side. Because that is likely going to be the case that Kylo Ren is going to be redeemed. Whether it is or not, we'll see. But that is a favorite fan theory of a lot of people. So, um,. Then this, this final scene, are are Ray and Kylo Ren talking to each other? I'm going to say yes. Now, where are they talking? We don't necessarily know. Um, but if you look at the light on the side of both of their faces, it's coming from the same direction. If they're facing each other, so it does seem like we're going to, that they are talking to each other, that they are having this conversation. Now, is Ray? going to learn from Kylo Ren? Are we going to see Ben Solo picking up the the mantle of Master and Rey Apprentice? And if so, all of this red, does that indicate that Rey's going to fall to the dark side? Or does it indicate maybe, you know, or am I reading too much into this, right? Color does play a, a pretty big thing, a pretty big role in these films. Um... I don't know. 
I hesitate to say it, but I have mixed feelings about this trailer. Parts of it were awesome. Parts of it were a little underwhelming for me. I'm excited for the movie. I'm not more excited now that I've seen the trailer than I was earlier today. I'm just as excited. And I think it's going to be really well done. But we'll see. So leave a comment in the section below. Let me know what you guys think. Based off of the information that you're seeing, how accurate do you think I'm going to be? I, what did you think of this trailer? Leave a comment in the section below. How accurate do you think I'm going to be? Do you feel like some of the points that I made were valid or do, were, do you think I'm going to be completely off? Like I said, leave a comment in the section below. Like us, subscribe to us, and share this video. Um, but most of all, comments in the section below. Let's talk about it. What did you think of the video? I try to respond to as many of the comments as I possibly can. Uh, we're getting more and more subscribers, so I'd like to thank you guys. But that does mean that sometimes I can't uh, respond to all the comments. But I do appreciate the feedback and engage with each other, guys. But again, leave a comment and let's have this conversation. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. And as always, stay nerdy, my friends.